everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have an epic summer treat for you. You know how we all love to make pecan pie for Thanksgiving and the holidays, or really any time of year, but this is a no-bake pecan cream icebox pie, and I cannot wait to show you how this all comes together. Today we're gonna to be making a pecan cream icebox pie. And this is the summer version of a pecan pie that you are always gonna to wanna to make. You're gonna keep this recipe at hand and when the warmer months come, you're gonna to wanna to have this when company comes over, when you're having a celebration or a barbecue, or you need to take this to a potluck or to a friend because it's that good. So first off, we're gonna use um, one of these 10 serving graham cracker crusts. Now, you can blind bake a pie crust if you so choose, but because I wanna make this a no-bake version, we're going with the graham crackers. Two bricks of cream cheese. These are eight ounce bricks of cream cheese. You're gonna need one and a half cups of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, a half a cup of powdered sugar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, and you're gonna need two um, portions of, of chopped pecans. So we have one cup that's gonna go in the pie mixture itself and a half or less than, a little bit less than a half a cup, that's gonna go on top. And if you're not using this other ingredient, you're gonna want a whole half a cup. I'm gonna use the salted caramel pecans from York Pecan Company. I need to say thank you to them for sending me their summer bundle. That is what we're using to make our pecan cream icebox pie today. And this is in there, so I'm gonna use this on the top. It's a little extra sweet goodness. I'm gonna use a tablespoon each of maple extract and vanilla extract and just a little bit like a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and that's it so now what we're going to do is get to mixing up all of our goodness and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and then it's time for a pecan cream pie all right we're going to start off by beating together our heavy whipping cream and our powdered sugar and our extracts so you want to start at a medium speed until you reach soft peaks, then you can start gradually adding in your sugar. So here we go. We've reached soft peaks and we're gonna start putting in our sugar. And I'm gonna add my extracts in here right now. So remember, this is maple and vanilla extract. So we're gonna whip this in as well. All right, our whipped cream portion is done. And what I'm gonna do is grab a spatula and just kind of swirl this around to make sure everything got blended in okay. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna, we're gonna come back with the cream cheese portion. All right, our cream cheese is at room temperature, so now I'm going to whip it until it's light and fluffy. Okay, you just wanna give, give this a little bit of you know air so that it's not as uh, stiff. So it makes it a little bit easier because we're gonna be beating in the brown sugar and the salt now. So we're gonna go in with our brown sugar and our salt. And we're gonna beat this until it's well incorporated. All right. Get the spatula in here. Give it a whirl. And now we're going to combine the whipped cream mixture and the cream cheese mixture. Then we'll fold in our pecans. Now we're just gonna get the whipped cream mixture in here and we're gonna fold it in. Okay, so just start folding in from the center and out and back in the center and over. That's how we fold things in. This is going to give it a nice, light, airy consistency. It's going to be very mousse-like. And it's just gonna be a lovely cream pie. So keep folding until everything is well incorporated. Okay, now we're gonna fold in one cup of chopped pecans. And now it's time to grab our pie crust and fill it. Okay, now just pour your filling into your pie shell and smooth it out. Now feel free to, you know, put whipped cream on top if you like. Um, I feel like there's plenty going on here now, so 
I'm just gonna top this with some of these chopicons. Just do it until you feel it's right for you. And then we're gonna put some of these salted caramel pecans on top. I'm not, you know, putting them on in any distinct pattern. I'm just tossing them on because I think they're gonna be a really delicious bite with this pie. This is ready to go in the refrigerator. Now, if you didn't know, when you get your graham cracker crust, don't throw away that little plastic insert. If you take the label off, turn it upside down, and then put it on top, you have a nice fitting lid to go on your pie. And you can actually have a pretty tall pie with these lids. And you just put it in your fridge and you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about plastic wrap or foil or anything. So this goes in the refrigerator for at least two hours. And then we'll be back, we'll cut it, and we'll show you what it looks like. While we're waiting for our pie to chill so that we can have it for dessert, I just wanted to do a little shout out and say thank you to the York Pecan Company for sending us their summer bundle to work with today. And I wanted to just make you aware, this video is not sponsored, but I am ever so grateful when companies reach out and feel that my audience and my channel is of value. And they sent me their summer bundle and like they sent me their Valentine bundle earlier in the year. This company makes a exquisite, product. Their pecans are delicious. They're beautiful quality. And this summer bundle is no exception. So what we have is their uh, native pecan pieces. And that's what we're going to be used. We used in today's pie. And I also am using the salted caramel pecans on the top of the pie. These are utterly addictive, and if you guys like a salted pecan snack, these are so good. They also sent a one pound bag of their large pecan halves. These are fantastic, and I like to keep these on hand. I like to keep the, um, you know, the, the nuts that are just plain nuts in the freezer. That's where I store all of my nuts, and I just love these. These are wonderful. I'll show you. Look at how gorgeous these are. They're beautiful. They're, they're just really uh, meaty and succulent. And these are plain, so these are ready for you to do whatever you want. If you want to do candied pecans, sugar-free candy pecans, um, southern style buttered pecans, you can throw these in a salad. You can throw them in a cookie or a cake recipe, or like we're doing today, only with the pieces, to put them in this delicious icebox pie. And then in their summer um, bundle, they have shared a California mix, which is like um, a trail mix. Look at this. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. That's wow. beautiful. Look at that. Apricots and dried pineapple, coconut. Walnuts. I see walnuts and dried cranberries and pecans and dried mango. Wow. Wow. And there's there's almonds in here too, but Rick will probably pick those out. But if you empty the whole bag, look at this. It's just chock full of deliciousness. Look at look at how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is their classic mix. This is all like salty nuts and seeds and what have you. Oh yeah. It's got sesame sticks, yeah. cashews. Big Brazil nuts. Oh yeah, those are your favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah. And they're they're roasted, so mm -hmm. they're salted also. Um, this is gorgeous. Mm. You can get 10% off your order from York Pecan Company. And now this is a small family owned business. They've been doing this for over 80 years. And I think that if you haven't given them a try, um, the first time around when I did the Valentine bundle, definitely give this one a try because it's great to have on hand for your summer travels. Um, because okay. you know everybody knows when your kids are home from from school for the summer they're always hungry you can never fill them up mm -hmm. this is a great way to give them a snack that's healthy that you don't have to worry about them and having too much sugar or what have you this is excellent is it i have no doubt this is a great bundle you can get 10 percent off i'll leave a link down below at the top of the description box and i hope that you enjoy thank you to york pecan company for sending us this bundle and allowing us to work with you once again so let's go see how our pecan cream icebox pie has turned out. Well, there you have it. This has been in the refrigerator for about five hours and it is absolutely perfect. It cut perfectly. It came out of the pan easily and now we're gonna taste it. Are you ready? I have to. You have to. There we go. Mm. Wow. Is it good? 
Oh yeah. I have to tell you, it smells amazing. Oh man, mm -hmm. that's so good. It's got a little bit of a tang from the cream cheese. It's got a deep, rich flavor from the maple extract and the vanilla, not to mention the chopped pecans that are in there. You're gonna love this one. It's super easy to make. It's not gonna heat up your kitchen. Your whole family's gonna love this. And if you're a fan of pecans, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. So I wanna thank the good folks at York Pecan Company for sharing one of their summer bundles with me. Remember, anytime you go there, you'll get 10% off if you use the link down below. I hope you give this recipe for pecan cream icebox pie a try, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.